Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to try, I'm trying out uh, Real Illusions AccuRig, which is basically, hopefully, it's a mix and mill killer. Now this video, it's not going to, it's not going to be a tutorial, I'm just going to give it a try and see how this works out. My apologies, I tried to do, some of you know, I tried to do a live stream and I just had, I had tons of uh, technical issues, but that's why, that's what I was doing, just testing, but let's get to it. What we're going to do is we're going to try out, we're going to try to rig a character created in DAS 3D and bring that into AccuRig and try to rig that automatically. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and share. So let's go to DAS 3D and I'm just going to create this character just really quick. I'm going to turn, remove the subdivisions. And give him just a little wardrobe, something to wear. Let's just give him something simple. Alrighty then. Those are the eyelashes too. Make sure you make sure you get the eyelashes as well. And I'm gonna do this for the clothing as well. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is at the base resolution. Next, I'm going to remove these overlapping polygons that are being hidden by the clothing. So I'm going to select that. Polygons. And I'll do a full tutorial in the walkthrough once I get iron out all the bugs. for you guys. So I have all of those selected and I'm going to just hide these. All right, I believe that's everything. And I'm just going to select half. Uh, I just, I'm just going to select everything just to be sure. So everything, the entire mesh is base resolution, and I removed the overlapping polygons. Now let's export this. I think everything here is good, I, be I believe. Collapse UV tiles, convert clothing to static geometry. All right, so we're going to save this, export this as an XBX file and bring that into Accurig, see sports guy. Now 
And right now it's placing the joints. Alrighty then. Let's see. Move this up some. All right. Alright, let's fix this up. Now, I'm not going to go crazy on here because I'm just trying to do this real quick. Let's move these closer. Um, All right, I think that's good. I'm going to clip this so I can mirror. That to the, the other side. And I think I think that's fine for now. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit this subscribe button. So as you can see, it actually did a pretty good job. I mean, granted, we can see that this mesh is, uh, well, okay. This mesh is uh, intersecting with uh, the shirt is intersecting with the shorts, but we, I should have fixed that or we could fix that, um, in Daz. But other than, oh, I think the eyebrows, did the eyebrows come in. Yeah. Oh, let's look at the back. You know, I actually think that's pretty good. I mean, you can actually export this and bring this into Blender or another 3D program. Another 3D program and, you know, make some adjustments to the weights. Okay. Body pose. I'm not sure. I don't think I did a good job on the uh, look at the thumbs. Yeah, but that that that's me. <laughs> and plus, this is a stylized character. Select body part. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty good. All 
Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> Let's look at the hands. It's the thumbs. The thumbs are messed up. But as you can see, this is uh, this is pretty amazing. If you <laughs> if you haven't heard of this, and and it's free, but you do need to have a Real Illusion account. I mean, this is. This is pretty decent. So what do you guys think? Is this a Mixamo killer? Is it Mixamo killer? I think so. Preview and export. That's amazing. What do you guys think? Uh, have you guys tried it? And if you have, uh, what are your results? But this is, uh, this is amazing. This is good. This is good. All right. Again, if you like this video, if you found any value in this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and check out my other videos on my channel, especially, um, this amazing series to get you started in your game development if you already haven't. And stay tuned for more videos.